IFRS 9, which came into effect in 2018, introduced requirements to establish allowances for expected credit loss, or ECL, for financial assets. This is a forward-looking requirement with allowance for ECL established at the time of recognition, for example, when a loan is first advanced. IFRS 9 uses three stages in the determination of the required allowance for ECL. Loans are placed in stage one when initially advanced and remain there so long as there is no significant increase in credit risk. Loans not more than 30 days past due are presumed to be in stage one unless there is other evidence of increased credit risk. The required allowance for ECL is equal to the expected loss over the next 12 months. Interest revenue continues to accrue. Loans are placed in stage two when there has been a significant increase in credit risk since initial recognition. A loan is presumed to be in stage two if it is more than 30 but less than 90 days in arrears unless there's other evidence of impairment. This days in arrears presumption provides a backstop to ensure that loans transition from stage one when there's a significant increase in credit risk. The required allowance for ECL is the expected loss over the lifetime of the loan. Interest revenue continues to accrue. Loans are placed in stage three when there is objective evidence of impairment. A loan is presumed to be in stage three if it is more than 90 days in arrears. The required allowance for ECL is the expected loss over the lifetime of the loan. Interest revenue is recognized on a net basis, not the gross basis used in stages one and two, reflecting an effective interest rate rather than the contractual interest rate. There are different national approaches to the allocation of IFRS 9 allowances for ECL to general and specific provisions. The most common is to treat allowances for ECL on stage three loans as specific provisions and allowances for stage one and two loans as general provisions. The 2019 FSI's guide recommends following national supervisory practices. Details of national supervisory practices should be reported in the metadata. The allocation of IFRS 9 allowances for ECL to general and specific provisions is an important part of FSI compilation. General provisions are recorded as a liability on the sectoral balance sheet, and specific provisions are deducted from gross loans.